Hello, uh, my name is Mark. I'm Sam. I'm Dan. And this is More Fight Update number three. Now, we did not all plan on wearing blue today. Somehow that just happened. We're all so in sync that we all wore blue at the same time. Um, anyways, we're happy to see you again. We're very excited about stuff that's happening. Uh, there's not been a ton happening. We've been really, really busy since last month. Uh, I'm trying to think of the bigger updates. We bought more lighting. We bought a couple more lights. It's, it seems like small stuff, probably, but it's really helping us. Right now, you can probably see us a little bit better because mm -hmm. we're better lit. We have uh, some more LEDs that we got going, and it's really helped. They were, oddly enough, they were low-level plant lights for mm -hmm. growing plants, and they ended up having full spectrum, everything we needed, mm -hmm. uh, and it's just our stepping stone until we get to the next uh, tier of lights so to speak. <laughs> yeah if you guys can see a difference if it if you can tell that we upgraded or anything please let us know in the comments uh, let us know if there's anything that seems out of sorts or weird let us know too we're always trying to make every oh, yeah. video better than the last one absolutely yeah well uh, last night we got what we're most excited about last night we just started a new segment which I think we've been talking about it before more fight chat we wanted to interview some people we interviewed uh, mr. Jeff Johnson from our church mm -hmm. And I think it went quite well. We're going to be, uh, Dan's editing that, and we're going to try and put that out here soon. Um, that's probably our biggest update from last month. We've been doing a bunch of work recently, painting, things of that nature. We've also been looking into it. A lot of it right now comes down to equipment upgrades, just things so that we're ready to just hit record and hopefully go anywhere, interview right. anybody at any time, right. record stuff. We're trying to set that up so we can provide some more content as we're working on uh, things like the Sonovox video, the Sonovox itself, um, other projects that we want to come up with. So slowly we're starting to get some more subscribers, things are starting to look up, and we're going to have a lot more content coming for you guys here real soon. About we did not cancel anything due to coronavirus. Don't <laughs> believe the hype. We didn't cancel anything. None of us have it. We are all healthy as horses. <laughs> yeah, we're, that's, that's our official update on Morphite is coronavirus free. Uh, we um, we in really enjoyed Morphite Chat last night. Uh, it's going to be an interesting series because we'll be able to kind of pick the brains of some people who you may not hear from otherwise. Uh, a lot of times we tend to only listen to people who are in the mainstream media or something of that nature where they're already out in front of people. And what we wanted to do with that series is take some time to interview, to talk to people who are passionate and knowledgeable about specific topics and then also see what else they're into because everyone's got a hobby everyone's got something that they uh, are very knowledgeable about that they have a lot of interest in but they may not have a platform or get a chance to share that with someone else it's crazy too when you talk to someone who's elbow deep in something they haven't necessarily had time to come out of that take a breather and share what they're actually doing with people so a lot of that's what we're looking to do with more fight chat is to highlight some of these people to get ideas from them uh, very interested in our discussion with Jeff Johnson since he's worked with sound, he's done engineering, and that's a big part of what our first product's going to be with the Sonovox. There's all of that involved with sound and wrapping coils and all that good stuff. So we've had uh, even more chances to discuss that with him off air and talk about different things back and forth. So we're looking forward to posting that for you guys. It's a very uh, enjoyable uh, chat to listen to and, and hopefully it'll pique your interest on a lot of different things. Uh, those will be a little longer format, so when you watch that, you'll be in for at least 45 minutes or so or more. Uh, this one will probably be looking at at least an hour uh, once it gets all edited. Oh, yeah. And uh, so that'll be a little bit longer than our normal content uh, as far as our updates, you know, keeping those about 20 to 30 minutes, and then our other stuff that we're working on as well. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, we're just developing all that process right now. Dan's coming along in his. Uh editing skills and his all kinds. I'm sure you probably noticed the videos are starting to look a little bit better each time, not just because of him, but because of stuff we're buying, things we're doing. Dan, is there anything you wanted to add to that? That's pretty much how it's been going. We've been learning with every video. We've been mm -hmm. increasing our skills and our uh, knowledge about all of this. We're learning every time. Um, we've been working more on lighting, as they said. Uh, white balance and color grading and yeah. learning about all these things and starting mm -hmm. to implement them So it's uh, gradually getting better and better hopefully mm -hmm. and um, Yeah We're also thinking um, I don't know if we're gonna do a new segment, but we are talking about there. There's a few different things uh, we're, we're talking about doing commentary potentially on 
Uh, we have just been doing cartoons up until now, but we're kind of, you know, raiding the old mental closet of, of reminiscence from our, our youth, our younger days, and we're going back to things like Donkey Kong, which seems simple. But when you look into it, uh, Donkey Kong is not so simple. <laughs> you go back to, I, I'm not talking about the original, I'm talking about Super Nintendo. Yeah, Donkey we, Kong Country. Yes, yeah. Donkey Kong Country, I'm yeah, so yeah. sorry. <laughs> Excuse me, anybody who is offended by that. But I, or, or we, have played a ton of that, as, yeah. as did many people growing up, and yeah. Super Mario and some of these. Just for nostalgia's sake, we were playing it the other day. Super Nintendo, Donkey Kong Country, and we were having real trouble figuring out what the exact storyline is. There's no yeah. real storyline. K. Rule, the big bad guy, just comes into it. And anyway, I don't want to get into it too much, but that's something else we're going to probably do yeah, is spoilers. we might go back and play some old video games with people. Yeah. Or with yeah. just us, however it goes, and do commentary on that as well. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, I know that there's a. Uh, it's interesting to discussing and looking at a lot of that stuff from your childhood after you've grown up and you get a chance to get a lot of perspective. You go back. In fact, Dan yeah. was just mentioning Society's on. Uh, what was that movie you were talking about? about the uh, the kids and everything was so out of uh, proportion. Oh, Matilda. Yeah, 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 <laughs> Matilda. How the, uh, <laughs> the uh, when you're a kid and you watch something like that, it just seems interesting and, and you just kind of have fun, you don't really think about it. Then as an adult and you're watching a film thinking, who can I identify with in this movie? And then you realize all the adults are evil or stupid <laughs> and you have a hard time identifying with them. Although some, in some ways you're like, this is kind of realistic. But uh, it's just interesting coming back to some of that stuff and seeing it. Also, a lot of the things with the Super Nintendo, those years we were in Ecuador. So when we were kids, that's kind of the associations and the identity we have with a lot of yeah. that. So it does bring up memories of, of that life that we had when we were down there, some missionary stories and stuff like that. So we Absolutely. might go into that a little bit as well in that series if we, if we uh, broaden the commentary to do a little more of that kind of stuff. Yeah. Kind of in that vein of interviews and things too, I, I neglected to mention coming up as a sort of a you know little teaser for what's coming up, the next people we're planning on interviewing are both entrepreneurs. Hopefully we get both of those done. The one guy is next week, he lives uh, in Markle, Indiana. His name is Zach Halsma and he's a friend of mine from high school. But entrepreneur, started his own bakery and he's now, he's been at another factory working for I believe like 15 years or something. It's a major major factory. I'll, you know, obviously he'll be talking more about all that, but he posts all kinds of delicious looking stuff on <laughs> Facebook. Uh, we're of course going to, you know, include links and stuff because it's, mm -hmm. you know, he, he, he knows how to, how to bake at this point. He's <laughs> got a few customer or a few uh, employees. He's doing really well. And it's, it's really cool, really neat to see that, st that startup. Another one that we want to look at, and I, I would recommend highly. His name is Joel Berry. Um, I knew him in high school. We weren't like the greatest of friends, but I, you know, we weren't enemies or anything. I, I always had a bit of respect for Joel. He's a nice guy and everything. Uh, later on, he went on to join the Marines. He did all kinds of stuff, and he ended up in, I believe, he's in Ohio now. But we're looking at potentially traveling, making a day out of it, and we, we really want to go interview him as well. Mm -hmm. That's what we're looking at doing here very soon as well. Mm -hmm. And on that note, if you want to check out any of Joel Berry's stuff ahead of time, he's a he's a Christian. He does stuff with his brothers, kind of like us. Mm -hmm. But he started first. He has his own podcast. Um, it's called The Petty Prophet. He writes a lot of stuff, kind of like Babylon B, um, fake fake news. <laughs> and, but it's it's funny and it's a you know political commentary. Some of it. Yeah. It's it, it's very good, very good sat satire, good humor. But I would encourage each and every one of you to go check out thepettyprophet.com or look up The Petty Prophet on I believe it's iTunes has their their podcasts. They don't have anything on YouTube yet, but. They have it elsewhere and at yeah. the website. Yeah, yeah, and uh, that's one I'm looking forward to to hear some of his experience and kind of again, like we were talking about with Mr. Johnson, uh, just getting p picking into his brain a little bit and uh, seeing uh, some of his d unique perspective from having been overseas, been in the military, but also growing up in a Christian home similar to ours. Uh, it's funny how, especially in the Christian community you don't realize how similar you are to other Christians till you start talking to them. And then you hear, oh, when you were growing up, you watched this and you guys were homeschooled and you know, you kind of start learning these things. And you're like, I always felt like we were alone in many ways, uh, part, partly from being missionaries and partly just from, you know, you don't always see other people's lives. And so it's neat to kind of identify and see a lot of that stuff. So we're hoping to bring some of that out as well when we get into that. 
the other, uh, some of the other projects we've got in the works, up in the air, things we're doing. Uh, we've got started working a little bit on some original music. Uh, I don't know if we've mentioned that in our previous update that we're going to be working on some of that stuff. We don't have anything completed yet, but we've got stuff we're working on. So uh, if you like music, you like hearing fresh new music, it'll be different and unique. Is it's just about all I can tell you about it because <laughs> that's uh, that's how we are. But um, we'll be putting that out when as it comes along. Another thing that we actually, I actually just started working on the other day, uh, or last week, I should say, was we were doing some research into character design and working on some of that stuff for our animation. And I've been had this kind of bug in my ear for a while about face swapping, and uh, you may have heard it, uh, face swap or deep fake technology. Uh, it's basically machine learning technology that is used to replace someone's face uh, in a video. And what's cool about it is it's automated. So you feed into the program a bunch of faces from one side and then the target faces. And I won't get into all the specifics. I'm, I may do a, uh, a little bit more on that later. But what's interesting for animation is for our rotoscope style animation we're looking to do, uh, we wanted to come up with a good, clean way of doing facial animation where we can get all of the original actors uh, features and uh, not necessarily their features, but their acting to get their performance through. And so, what I'm toying with and, and already started experimenting on is using the face swap on based on instead of another person's face, based on a character model, a character design, and then using that to do a one for one swap onto someone else's face. And if we did that, it would very, very uh, quickly remove all the lead time on production as far as the animation side for facial animations, which is one of the most important things in animation. You want to get the face right, you want them to look right, you want them to feel the character through the animation. So it's something we're toying with and we're experimenting with. Not sure if it'll work yet, but it's something I've never seen done before. If you have seen someone do it before, please share it with me. I'm not talking about regular face swaps. I'm talking about using a animated or hand-drawn or possibly even computer animated character face, character design face to replace a human face. So that may be in a regularly filmed video with the face just the only thing that's replaced or using that then in context of a fully done animation like what we're looking to do. Uh, again, the coolest part about it to me is the fact that since there's only three of us, it will take us a long time, any of the animation we do. So that's what we're doing a lot of the uh, testing and research on the front end, so right. when we actually go into production on pipeline on something, we can actually start churning things out, and it won't be uh, hamstrung by the fact that we're such a small team. Um, and so, what this would do is remove a lot of that those man hours. So, anyways, if you guys have any ideas on that cool stuff that you've seen with that, again, share it in the comments. I don't know if we mentioned it yet, but please, if you like this video, you like any of our stuff, please like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, if you could, I'd ask you just to share it with one person that you think would be interested in the things we've talked about, uh, whether it's the music, the animation, uh, the interviews we're doing, any of the content we do. If you feel like, hey, so-and-so, my good buddy would love to see this, please share it with them on any platform of your choice. Uh, we, right now, are really trying to get our subscriber count up because that's going to give us different opportunities to do other stuff as well. Oh, yeah. We're definitely ramping it. We would really appreciate that. Any reshares, any, any of that kind of stuff, we really, really appreciate. Um, especially, we, we haven't made the Sonovox video yet, but once that explanation comes out, it'll make a bit more sense. We're ramping up to our, uh, we're going to be ramping up to our Kickstarter hopefully this summer mm -hmm. is when we're looking at. I think we already announced that. Mm -hmm. um, other thing I forgot to mention, which I don't know exactly when we're going to be releasing this or if we'll have it edited in time, but we're going to do kind of an open sort of a discussion. We're going to try something. Uh, our, our, oddly enough, our church, I mean, not odd, but since the entire nation is shutting down because of <laughs> coronavirus, yeah. suddenly, and oddly to me, um, our church has also done the same thing. Uh, Governor Eric Holcomb in our state actually suggested, or not suggested, but heavily implied that there should only be, I think, no more than 250 people in a room at the same time, something like that. Anyways, due to some of those uh, stringent requirements, the church was initially saying if you're not feeling well or if you're elderly or something, don't come to the services. And now they've just canceled things up until the 28th of this month. Mm -hmm. So due to that, on Sunday in the evening this coming, we will be doing a, kind of an impromptu live thing. Mm -hmm. We haven't done anything live yet, but we're going to try and do that and see how all that goes. Hopefully mm -hmm. it's a good discussion. Anybody who wants to is welcome to contribute or ask something. We'll have Dan standing by to kind of help us out and to let us know what's going on. But it should be good. 
Yeah. Well, like Sam said, yes, please like, subscribe, um, and we'll see you in the next update, next video. Yeah, thank you for uh, joining us, and uh, we appreciate everyone who does subscribe. Absolutely. And if you'd like to see more stuff from us, if you like what we're doing, if you just want to throw a few bucks our way, please go to subscribestar.com slash morefight. We'll put a link in the description. And what that is is our Subscribestar uh, page. It's, it works a lot like Patreon. Uh, we prefer to go with Subscribestar. But what you can do there is you can sign up for either 3 bucks a month or 5 bucks a month. And uh, we don't keep all of that money, but that money does go towards helping us do more things like we said buy lighting be able to pay for our hosting be able to expand the different things we're working on we're doing everything we can with the limited funds we have coming in right now uh, which is basically just everything out of pocket yeah. but if you want to see more from us if you like what we're doing if you're on board with this please go to subscribe star and look up what you get on there you're gonna get there you get early access to all the videos that come out here so we post them there ahead of time of the YouTube channel uh, you also will get access to our behind the scenes our, our BTS series we do uh, with that it's a much more intimate conversational style look at some of the things we talk about off camera and uh, you can get a little more idea of who we are and what we're about and just get some different different viewpoint on some of that stuff. We talk about business things and just kind of the nitty gritty of how things work. And uh, so if you're interested in that, if you're interested in seeing you know, what, it, what it's like to start a YouTube channel, all that kind of stuff, that's gonna be there in the BTS. And uh, you can get that at the $5 level and up. And then the $3 level and up gets you early access to everything else.